guys how are you doing on this fine Friday afternoon I did do a Facebook uh, live video but I, I think the, the the contrast between just you know filming on a camera and filming on uh, Facebook you know the pixelations change um, I am trying new things to improve my videos for YouTube and for Facebook so if you bear with me uh, I will get there but first of all I'd like to thank everybody um, especially the over 270 subscribers that I have on YouTube uh, for all your comments likes and that uh, without you guys uh, my messages would just stay inside my head thank you for your encouragement uh, with the encouragement, subscribes, likes and comments that I've got I've been able to make my channel a little bit better so hopefully that makes the information and the presentation for you guys a bit better um, I'm changing the way that I'm doing things with my videos um, where normally I would just sit in front of the camera and rant and rave uh, I'm still going to do that part but I'm going to do it in sections and I'm going to film separate sections, separate stories, so to speak, throughout the day and in the evening, compiled them together and put them forward. Uh, I think it'd be a better way. It's a way I've been thinking for a while to do things. Um, but obviously, we're having an intro and an outro now. It makes things a little bit easier to do. Um, so, as usual, guys, watch this space and we'll get to the, the first story of the day hello again guys right the first thing I want to complain about today is the apparent distrust our government has with us um, what I mean by us is the population that does not condone um, bombs bullets bloodshed invasion of another country the occupation of another country um, that we are being in some way uh, compared to well to the ones that they're so-called fighting I thought in a democratic society we were allowed to criticize the actions of our government because at the end of the day what's happening what they decide has has real no outcome towards us uh, what do I mean by that is take the current problem that we have at the moment with the Russians giving the US the ultimatum of if you do do what you, you know, the leaks have said and the Russian guy was you know the Russian uh, Minister for Defense I think he was did say you know most of the leaks that come out from America do turn out to be true um, it will kind of force Russia's hand into you know doing something about it as everybody knows that Russia is a very, I wouldn't say aggressive state, but they do say, they're like Ron Seal, they do exactly what they say on the tin, as far as I've seen. And the stories that I've seen concerning the Russians, Vladimir Putin, Syria and uh, the Western coalitions. Because at the end of the day, it's not the actions of myself and yourselves that cause the publications with the Russians. Uh, unless you're a soldier in British military then you, I, uh, unfortunately for you, will have to take some of the blame for the actions that are happening at the present moment in time. I will say though, even though that you joined the British Army or Navy or whatever, the military arm of the government, I understand that you have most probably families to feed, uh, it's a career for you. Um, you can have as many careers in the army as you want, meaning medic, mechanic, uh, intelligence, but your underlying job is to kill people. Uh, I don't condone that myself. I believe that we should all live under the same sun in peace and harmony, as you all know. So having the ultimatums go across from Russia to America telling them that you know if you get involved we're going to do something about it is kind of scary when you think about it 
but at the end of the day the tiny bit of hope that I have is that we do have elected officials that aren't in Westminster that aren't with any pa real power behind them apart from the power from the people meaning Jeremy Corbyn um, I have people myself that have opposed the war they're not even from you know that they're from this country you know or America you know but they 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 hate the war idea they hate the idea of us getting military involved in somebody else's problems which is a good thing you know because at the end of the day the way I see it is that man wants these borders or has to have these borders for some reason you know protect their own and shit so wouldn't it be easy if not logical to protect your own soil instead of going over to a, a country that has attributes that you want uh, whether it be gold uh, whether it be oil or maybe even if, if it was just the fact that you didn't want to pay for oil in American dollars and you decided to uh, do it somewhere else we know what happens if you do that you know we've seen Gaddafi and we, 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 we've seen why uh, that happens but it is not nice to have the idea of a, a pending nuclear war above our heads uh, for some people and for me you know we have to watch what happens next we can't just take the actions of what happened at the present moment in time we do need to look at the other attributes towards it um, because some of these stories aren't just as cut and dry as we we think they are you know the Americans aren't innocent in this and the Russians aren't innocent in this. We all, they both play a major part in the problems that are happening at the present moment in time. As long as we keep faith that mankind, that peace, love and unity can win, it will win. The second that I falter in my faith towards peace and love, that's the moment that we've already lost. You have to remember that as much as we are a warlike species in our actions, in the destruction that we cause upon this planet, on the, the animals that we, we seem to kill off, you know, the bees for fuck's sake, you know, let's not think about tigers and elephants and rhinos that are, are being wiped out in major numbers. Let's think bees, you know, the most simplest mundane creature that you can think of does so much for us and so much for our planet yet we're killing them off you know we need to give peace and love a chance we need to you know we've had this warlike demeanor for so long and it's it's not got us anywhere or it's got the few so far and the many have just been left alone with this destruction and the the, the fallout of what's happened we need to embrace each other, not expel each other. We need to come to some kind of, you know, mutual understanding with the people on this earth. Otherwise, we will end up in a nuclear war. And nobody wins that. Nobody has any good outcome for that. The ones with the bomb shelters and the nuclear shelters and that will only last for so long. And, you know, I unfortunately won't be one of the people inside a bunker. So, you know, it comes down to self-preservation. If these people are out to destroy our lives and the lives of our families, then when are we going to stand up and be counted? So as usual, guys, watch this space. I'll see what we can come up with next.